Some days it might feel like the world's going to hell, but there's a good thing about hell. It's hot down there. Maybe then it's not a coincidence that today I have good news about geothermal energy. I used to think that geothermal energy would always remain a small contributor to global energy needs. Indeed, this was my conclusion when we first talked about this some years ago. I said this because drilling is expensive, and the deeper you drill, the more expensive it gets. There are few places on Earth where the heat at moderate depth is high enough to generate substantial amounts amounts of energy from it, and if the ground below your feet is that hot, personally I'd stay away from it, but maybe that's just me. But wow, things have changed a lot in a few years. One indicator that I was too pessimistic is to look at the installed geothermal capacity. If it was true that drilling is just getting too expensive, you'd expect a slowdown or stagnation. You'd expect this because once the good spots have been occupied, that's it. Indeed, this is what we see with hydropower. All the good spots have been taken and now growth has stagnated. However, the growth of geothermal electricity production has been stable for decades. Another indicator that I was too pessimistic is to look at other pessimists. Currently, the total geothermal contribution to global electricity is about half a percent. In 2011, the International Energy Agency said that optimistically, by 2050, geothermal could reach 3.5% of global electricity production. However, in their most recent report, which just appeared in December, they write that next generation geothermal systems could provide up to 8% of the global electricity supply by 2050. So they've more than doubled their projection, which is quite a change. And this is only electricity production. It doesn't include directly produced heat from geothermal sources. This remarkable development has been driven by technological advances and, among other things, artificial intelligence. Yes, you have that right. Artificial intelligence can be a way to geothermal thermal energy quite literally. The American company Zanskar is a good example for how to make it happen. They were founded in 2022 by two geoscientists who met during an expedition in India's Zanskar region, hence the name. They're taking the scientific approach to finding geothermal sites, which can hide in unexpected places. They collect data from seismographs, acoustic imaging, gas sensors, and everything they can get their hands on. Then, they throw it at a specially developed AI. Allegedly, this can reduce drilling costs by up to 66%, though it remains to be seen whether that will pan out. According to their website, even though the company just started in the United States, they have already uncovered more potential geothermal sites than the entire industry did over the prior decade. They have raised more than $40 million in funding. But AI isn't the only developer development that has been going on in geothermal. There are also three major trends in the power plant construction. The first is to make deeper drilling more affordable with more powerful drills. The second one is to use enhanced geothermal systems. This is a method of cracking up rocks to push water through them rather than relying on naturally occurring reservoirs. The third method is to use closed loop systems which make the energy extraction more efficient even if the ground isn't super hot. All three methods together can vastly increase the number of potential geothermal sites. Just in the past year, multiple new startups have sprung up around those technologies and attracted significant funding. This too tells you that the outlook is becoming more optimistic. And I think it's justified. The company Fervo, which has been working on enhanced geothermal systems, reports that it's it's going very well, and they've just raised another $225 million. And scientific studies support the optimism. In a recent paper, a group of researchers found good news for enhanced geothermal systems. They demonstrated with laboratory experiments that it's possible to fracture hot rocks so that their permeability is up to 10 times larger than that of cooler rocks. This means that water injected into these fractures 
this can become so hot that it becomes supercritical. This would be amazing because supercritical water can carry up to 10 times more energy and would vastly improve the efficiency of geothermal sites. Enhanced supercritical reservoirs are to geothermal energy basically what quantum gravity is to theoretical physics. Except if they find it, we could actually do something with it. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but maybe the road from hell is paved with geothermal power plants. So don't forget to subscribe for more hot takes. So that was good news, I think. And I have even more good news today, which is that my friends at Planet Wild went on a new mission and it's been very successful. Planet Wild is a community-funded nature protection group. I joined them last year and it's been wonderful to see the community grow. Planet Wild goes on a new mission each month to restore ecosystems and change the world for the better. And your money doesn't just disappear in a planet Hole. They document all their missions with videos on YouTube and on their app. You can contribute any monthly amount, big or small, anything that feels right to you. In one of their new missions, they set out to save lions in Kenya. The lion population there has plummeted because the lions, being lions, attack farmers' livestock. The farmers then in return attack the lions, often killing them. Planet Wild has helped the farmers to instead install bright flashing lights that turn out to be super effective at deterring the lions but save their lives. It's a cheap yet effective approach that really makes a difference. And yes, I have a special offer. If you're among the first 200 people to sign up with my QR code, code or link, I'll pay your first month. And don't worry that you'll get stuck with them. You can cancel your membership at any time. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.